Torino was Italian football, even if there was no Italy. The first collective symbol that we had. A symbol born from ashes and pain. On May the 4th, 1949, a tragic air disaster robbed Italy of its greatest team, Il Grande Torino. The date is commemorated each year by the club at the site of the crash, the hill of Superga. The 4th of May is an important date for everyone, for the club, the players, and the supporters, but also for the world of football, because we go up to Superga to honor the team of Invincibles. This is my first time going to Superga with the team. It'll be very emotional because it's such an important date for the club. Because it's on this day that the great champions lost their lives. Champions that will forever remain in the hearts of all the Granata fans and on the shirts of all the players. Led by national icon Valentino Mazzola, Torino were the dominant force in Italy at that time and in 1949 were close to a fifth consecutive title. If they hadn't been interrupted by the war, they would have carried on breaking records. Thanks to a deal with my dad, I went to every home game post-war. As long as I didn't miss any school, I wouldn't miss any matches. Il Grande Torino... Grande Torino set many important records in Italian football. Il Torino... They were the first team in Italy to win the domestic double in 1943. And they were one of the first Italian teams to be invited abroad to play friendlies. They really were considered the pride and honor of their homeland. How important this team was is undeniable. They dominated Italian football so they'll never be forgotten. Ten of the 11 players in the national team played for Torino. That shows how significant they were. After an 18-game unbeaten run that would seal another Scudetto, Torino traveled to Portugal to play Benfica in a friendly. On their return, tragedy struck. The team leaves Lisbon. They refuel in Barcelona and then instead of flying to Milan, fly to Turin. Due to the bad weather conditions, they don't realize they're on a collision course with the hills of Superga. And the plane crashes. All 31 of the passengers, including the players, coaches, journalists, and flight crew, die instantly. My dad said, they've all died, and I asked who. He said, the Torino team, in a plane, and started to cry. Until that day, the catastrophe of that proportion had never happened. Not just a sports tragedy, but an Italian aviation tragedy. The fact that its victims were the Grande Torino team who represented the country's pride and joy meant it had an even greater impact. I remember the funerals. I remember everything. The uneasy feeling that came over me for owning a pain that I felt more than others. I was so upset, I smashed a window. This terrible tragedy at Superga in 1949 made the team immortal, and with their death, they became a legend. After Superga, the last four games were played by the Torino youth team, and they won all four of them. In April 2016, Torino's stadium was renamed the Stadio Grande Torino. Even more fitting is the imminent return of their old stadium, the Philadelphia. Closed in 1963, the home of Torino's greatest team is set to be reopened in October, exactly 90 years after hosting its first match. This is where the first team will train and the youth team will play their fixtures. There is only enough space for 4,000 seats here, so it's not big enough to accommodate the first team Serie A games. 
tifosi per le partite. But the Grande Torino Stadium, where the first team play, is only 400 meters away. 300-400 meters. Devotion, spirit, sacrifice. Three words Torino Football Club know all too well. And sentiments that will always be poignant each year on May the 4th. Every club has significant dates. The anniversary of a championship or a trophy. For us, it's the 4th of May. Our most important date comes from a tragedy, and that's quite unique. As if to say rebirth is possible, even from a tragedy. It's a very important day for us. It helps us forget a little about the football and reminds us what Torino really is, as well as uniting the whole city and all the Granata supporters in one place. After a mass, annual tradition dictates that the current Torino captain reads out the names of the victims. The Campioni d'Italia. Bacigalupo, Ballarin Aldo. Il significato di salire a Superga il 4 maggio. The importance of going to Superga on the 4th of May isn't just about commemorating the 31 lives that were lost on the embankment at the Basilica of Superga. It's about renewing an act of faith and of love towards our team. The tragedy at Superga strengthened us. It bound us together with our club. And that's why we feel such a unique pride and sense of belonging, because of this tragedy.